Hi, this is Miss Moses, and I am here for our Thursday morning writing lesson. By the end of our lesson today, students will be able to write a sentence using an uppercase letter, finger spaces between words, and ending with a period. Today, we are going to write about what animal we would like to be if we could be an animal in the world. So fun. Let's go get started. Our writing prompt for today is, if you could be an animal, what animal would you want to be? If you could be an animal, what animal would you want to be? Let's look at some ideas of some animals that you might want to be. Maybe you want to be a fish. Maybe you want to be a butterfly. Maybe you want to be a tiger. Maybe you want to be a monkey. Maybe you want to be a turtle. Or maybe you want to be something that's not pictured here. You can think of whatever animal you want to be to write about. I'm going to write my sentence starting with an uppercase letter using finger spaces and ending with a period. I'm thinking about what animal I would want to be if I could be an animal. Hmm. I wish I could be an elephant. So I'm going to write, I wish I could be an elephant. I will start with an uppercase I. So I wrote I, then I'll do a finger space, wish, w, I, sh, wish. I wish I, uppercase I, could is a word from my question, C, O, U, L, D. And I can see that right here in my question, could. If you could be, so I'm gonna write B next. I wish I could be, be, and, and then I said elephant. So I'm going to tap out elephant the best I can. And I'm going to write a letter for each sound that I hear in the word elephant. Eh, eh, elephant starts with E, ed, eh. L, I hear L, lamp, o. L, L, eh, eh, eh. L, eh. Elephant. I wish I could be an elephant. And then I finished my sentence, so I'm going to write a period. Now, I still have space on my paper, so I could write a second sentence if I'm feeling super motivated. Maybe I could think of a reason why I would want to be an elephant. I know that elephants have really good memories. So that's a reason why I would want to be an elephant is because then I could remember everything. So I wrote, I wish I could be an elephant. Then I could write, I, then I would write the word want which is W-A-N-T, I want A. Good is a sight word, G-O-O-D, good. And then I would write the word memory. I want a good, mm, eh, mm, er, e. Then I would do a period. 
I wish I could be an elephant. I want a good memory. Then I would draw a picture of an elephant because that's what I wish I could be. Now I'm going to color my elephant in. I finished my writing and I drew a picture to match. Let's look at my sentence and see if I met my objective. Did I start with an uppercase letter? Yes, I did. Did I do finger spaces between words? Yes, I did. Did I end my sentence with a period? Yes, I did. I met my writing objective for today. So I just finished my writing about what animal I wish that I could be if I could be an animal. Now it's going to be your turn to go write about what animal you wish you could be. And then you could even take a picture of your writing and have your mom or your dad put it in our class dojo message so that I can see your writing. I would love to see it. If you don't want to take a picture of your writing, you could also just have your mom or dad write what animal you wish you could be. I would love to hear. Okay, I'll see you this afternoon for our read aloud. Okay, bye for now.